So in last part of our experiment, we are going to see the resultant discussion of study of CNS depression activity using optometer. Here we have written the CNS depression because we have we know that it is a known drug diazepam we have given. So control uh, 167 uh, and test 11, whatever the count it is there, you just going to see that locomotor is or if it is for example if it is for example 124 so you can write it as a 124 so you can say that whatever the count is coming you just check for the six animal one by one and you are going to uh, check the average locomotor average locomotor index clear average locomotor index that you are, can check it so from that what you can understand if you compare it compare that locomotor index uh, it, it is not the second it is not the second it, you can just write it as a locomotor index so locomotor index uh, what we can get it we can get it as a 167 in the control group and it is less than the test group so if it is less what does it mean reduction in the locomotor index indicates the CNS depression activity of the drug. Now for example dizepam we have given. So you should know about the dizepam already we have discussed it is a CNS depression drug. It is a sedative and because we have studied under the sedative and hypnotics agent it is act on the GABA A receptor. Clear? GABA A receptor. So it is opening the chloride channel and as a result it will cause the CNS uh, depression. So that particular things you uh, know that here it missed average locomotor and so uh, we know that what is the activity of dizepam and we have found that after administration of the dizepam uh, locomotor index is reduced and this indicates that the CNS depression activity of dizepam.